get into this. Season one of The Walking Dead. I'm gonna re do recording a couple videos at least. I want the whole season one done before I start on two. I don't even want to look at two until I've recorded all of season one. Done some videos on it. I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your <laughs> position already said it enough. Followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You're from Macon. <clears throat> yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With wow. all respect. A real shame, that is. Hell. The whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Long enough. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Sure. <clears throat> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Be nice. <sighs> Police going that way. He just cool and calm. He don't even care. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses, and he just wailing <clears throat> back there. Says it wasn't him, crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for you coming to one. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat <laughs> like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. <laughs> mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. So did he do it? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more... Hey, pay attention to where you're driving. So. This What's other that? time... Shame, shame. Too busy 
he running this mouse? <coughs> All right, this is game time. Sounds like somebody ain't making it. Cuffs in the back of a car, flipped over, and all you can think about is you're thirsty. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. <laughs> yeah, he's all right. <laughs> to drag myself out that window. Come out the window. That shotgun. I guess it's best to get the seeds first. <clears throat> yeah, get them, get them. Ain't going nowhere. Shit. He dropped the keys. Right near his mouth. <laughs> My dad that I don't usually play games on the computer. Officer. <laughs> so be the oh. Up that shotgun. Get away from me. Where are you? Man. Are you serious? Go drop the shell. Don't make me do this. Don't make me, don't make me. I wanted to do it anyway. So why are we in this mess? Man. Mm. This skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? <clears throat> Little girl. Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting!
I gotta design this game. Anybody? You're just gonna sit there and yell. <clears throat> I wonder if anybody's home. He just calm. I wonder if anybody's home. Open the door. Retarded. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? <coughs> ah. Hello. I'm not an intruder. I'm one of them. She didn't get to finish coloring her picture. It's fake. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Who falls over that much blood without seeing it? Find you something to drink. Nah, you go. You said you was thirsty. Stop beeping. Probably the walkie talkie you just picked up, you idiot. You just drink some ice water. Nasty. <laughs> Need some bandages. Savannah area code, but that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. That's annoying. Just maybe there's something on there. Maybe. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. 
Oh, that just moved. Call the police. <clears throat> 
Man, I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you, though. Well, let's go somewhere safe and <coughs> close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen him then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Just some guy. Some <clears throat> guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Okay, little dude getting in on it. Just some guy? It seems like you saved a bunch of lives today. So what I do? Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's, well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, they said it's like it's going to be me. There. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? 
It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I, I fell, trying to get away from one of those things. That's so. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Keep saying your daughter. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. You're just told I'm that it's not my looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I saw a cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. <coughs> it should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. <clears throat> All right, well... I'm gonna end this it episode like here. It. If you like this video, hit that like Manure. button, subscribe, Manure? and share. Like when a horse plops. Until next time. Just like that. Peace. I missed my mom and dad. <laughs>